Third, I want you to see that there was a lack of prayer and diligence in his life. Jesus told them they would all fall away and He carries them in. He says, I want you to watch, be diligent, and pray unless you fall into temptation. Jesus goes off and He prays. We remember we've already taught through that, but when Jesus returns back to them, what are they doing? They're sleeping. They're not being diligent and watching for their souls in Jesus' greatest hour of need. Here they are. They're snoring. And they're sleeping. When He said, watch and pray. Even though Jesus warned them, if you don't do this, you're going to fall into temptation. I'm going to be delivered over. Did you know that apart from prayer, apart from a steady diet of knowing the Word of the Lord and Spirit-filled prayer, you cannot know God's will for your life. You cannot have the strength uh, to, for, your, for your life to conform to the will of God in your life. You may know the Bible, but how it applies in your life, God's not going to speak to you through that. In, in, the, in the greatest hour of need, Peter could not pray. There's an old preacher named William Gurnall. He's a, one of those Puritans. He's been dead for years. He said, when people do not mind what God speaks to them in His Word, God doth as little mind what they say to Him in prayer. Robert Murray McShane says it this way. He says, what a man is on his knees before God, that he is, and nothing more. And John Bunyan puts it this way. He who runs from God in the morning will scarcely find Him the rest of the day. And that's true for you and me. This year, people will put a lot of efforts into pursuing their careers and communicating with their friends and being connected through every electronic gadget that is out there, but they will spend very little time connecting with the Father that gave them new life. Well, if that's you, this is a warning shot fired across the bow of your ship today. You see, Peter wasn't only prayerless that night, but he wasn't diligent in keeping watch for himself. This year, there'll be a lot of people that'll be planning ahead for Christmas. They'll be putting money back. They'll be working overtime. They'll, they'll stand in long lines just to get just the right gift. Some people will work two jobs. Some people will take 19 hours of classes at school and do countless hours of study time at home, and they'll work extra jobs so that they can achieve their goals in their life. They'll put a lot of time and diligence in those things, yet when they're asked to do some service for the Lord or to pray, they're going to find little time to do it. If it requires too much effort, forget about it. Why? Because of lack of diligence and a lack of prayer. Dear Christian, please listen to me today. If you find yourself out of prayer and prayerful diligence, then you are well on your way to a hard fall. 